over some stuff for a pond that's been built up um, near Kirby Lonsdale um, in a beautiful part of the country. Um, now this gentleman, um, and he's got his two lads that are doing it with him, um, they're building a pond and it looks great. Um, they're building a pond which is 5.5 meters long, three meters wide and 1.5 meters deep. So we're reckoning it's gonna be about 5,500 gallons. And as usual, it's running on a Nexus 320 plus and a 24 inch micro K1 bead, which is gonna be running from the skimmer. Um, now they've took probably, um, they reckon up to now with the three of them and they've done all the work themselves from digging it out and everything they reckon that they've taken probably a solid two weeks to get everything in them but they've also run a business on this site so it's as and when they've been able to get to it but they've done a lovely job on the brickwork um, and it's going to look it really is going to look great i mean we'll be doing the install on this pond um, when it's up and ready ready to go um the all that they've got to do now is put the return lines in and get this base in which they're doing now for the filter house for the well for the filter area um, and then we can go for it. Um, but let me show you the pond anyway. You see they've put a cover over the pond, the mini marquee. Trying to get the best view. I mean, that's not a bad view, is it? Hey, crikey. Absolutely amazing up here. So right, there's the pond. You see the bottom drain's got a cover over in the middle. Um, at the front there, which is gonna be, there's gonna be a window. So again, let me just go over the dimensions. So it's 5.5 three and it's going to be 1.5 deep um the skimmer we've just been talking about it now to where it's going to go now the skimmer is going to go on the back wall there which is going into the filter bay then we're going to have a high return there then we're going to come down to this corner and that return is going to be six inches lower than the one over that, that we've just been through then the water is going to flow this way and then it's going to be a bit lower and then in that corner is going to be the lowest return because the flow is all going to be coming this way like that the skimmer is going to be on the back wall so if we have a low level one which is down that corner then we're not going to take away it's not going to blow the muck away from the skimmer so it's going to be an underwater return via so it's going to go well underneath the skimmer so the surface the surface debris will still go down the skimmer plate so which is ideal so the skimmer will be running into a um, 24 inch bead um, but yeah i just wanted to get it's, it's just ideal to show people the levels that people are at um to to get it all done i mean it does look and he has done a great job there is a bench on the pond as well which is about six inches and that's all flowing into the drain so there's a good fall um so let's see if we can get around this way or if not I'll go around the other way should be able to They are actually putting the concrete down for the base as we speak, which is there. So again, when you brought it all up, the, the Nexus needs 950 water level, so you can see how much more it's gonna come up. So we've got the four inch pipe, which is there. Let's get around this side. Oh, this is the old pond from small acorns. Another one that's, um, this job's been done purely from watching the YouTube videos and that's how we got in contact with us. So it's another YouTube build. As you can see there, you've got the four inch line coming up from the drain with a one inch line coming up, which is gonna be the air for the drain. Um, always love this when they put the ACO line in there to the waste. So all, everything can just go straight down the waste pipe. Um, so we're looking at having the Nexus is probably gonna go over in that corner there bead in that corner then we'll have um, the pipe work coming down here for the waste and then on this wall that's not been built yet that's where the uv is going to go etc um, air pump and the um, vary pumps so it's all there's a twenty thousand vary pump going on the bead ten thousand going on the skimmer which is our go-to system really this is what we always you know as people know who follow the channel this is what we go for because it's tried and tested and it works a treat so but it is going to look absolutely amazing these returns again because it's a question that I get asked a lot um, about the returns so like I said the filter is coming up 
at least up to there yet so it's going to be a nice deep pond um, now the first return is going to be on this wall it's going to be six inches down then it's going to come down here the second return is going to be six inches below that one then this one is going to be 12 inches from the base this one over here which is the final return is going to be six inches from the bottom so all staggered but all flowing the same way again the skimmer is going to fit in that wall there which is just going to go straight into the bead and we're going to split the bleed the bead into two returns so the bead's going to feed the two returns via the skimmer and then the nexus which will be here as well is going to feed two returns um back now as you can see the pipe down there all the returns are going to be in two inch you know anything over a certain size um you need two inch pipe really to get the flow rate round so you know that's what we're using on here so there'll be our plate returns which are going to be core drilled in um the builders that's what they prefer doing core drilling which is fine absolutely fine these walls are good these corners are going to be all cornered as well so they're going to be a nice flow so these will have um they'll be built up in the corner so we'll get the so it'll all be like a smooth flow rate because again like i said many times flow is the most important thing when building a pond so the walls aren't just going to stay like that they will be rounded off but yeah it's going to look really really good when finished especially with the views and everything up here it's going to be a real real nice pond 320 nexus the plus with the new media now another thing is i just thought i'd let people know that when a nexus arrives with you they always arrive as a pump fed system so that four inch there on this system that's set up currently for the um outlet so when it's a pump fed system you always see a pipe in there which is that pipe at the back that needs coming out that four inch flange there needs swapping to that one because that's going to be the four inch inlet for the drain then we've got the k1 micro bead all the media blower etc etc so that's the equipment and that'll be ready to go on hopefully in the next two or three weeks we're hoping to get that all installed and done the pond will obviously be fiberglassed weather depending that's it guys the, the pond the 5500 gallon pond nexus 320 k1 micro bead in a beautiful area of the country up in near kirby lonsdale um yep five and a half thousand gallon pond 5.5 meters three meters wide 1.5 meters deep and that's part one guys so hope you enjoyed it hope it gives you a little bit of an insight people that are building ponds at the minute um i didn't really expect to do this video until i came up with the equipment today but it just seems a good opportunity to show people um, especially with the return lines because like i said i do get asked that uh, all the time so but yeah so pretty much we can see it being built and then hopefully next time we'll see it when it's finished especially with the pipe work being done and everything um so yeah i can't wait to see it finished especially with the views around here it's just incredible absolutely incredible place what a spot what a pond it's going to be so but anyway thanks for watching guys and um there's some news coming up soon i'm sorry about it at the moment i am in a little bit of fish mode um the harvest have started in japan so we are um busy with fish in japan as well so there will be some news coming up on the youtube channel pretty soon about that um so yeah give me a week or so um and we'll let you know what's going on but yeah so this is this one so thanks very much for watching give us a thumbs up subscribe if possible cheers guys